in the So if you're, if you're still recording, I might need some parts of it. Uh, it's okay. the brothers. So, the Why, Yakum? I don't want to talk long, but we want to explain uh, some things. I do want to explain some things uh, with respect to Islamic education. Um, I'm going to read from an excerpt of a book that I wrote um, about education for Muslim children. And this is from the chapter 13. It's a uh, title of this chapter is from algebra to algebra. Allah says in his Quran, he created a human, taught him intelligent speech, the sun and the moon follow orbits, exactly calculated. And it's kind of curious, um, Brother Khalil is talking about the same, from the same ayat, that let us know that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is connecting this, that we have no way of knowing. And he began talking from this same ayat, and it's just amazing how Allah Bring together. A middle school student in our madrasa was experiencing some extreme frustration with his pre algebra lesson. He said that it was too difficult for him. He said he couldn't do it. He wanted to give up because he had ran out of patience with himself. It was just hard for him. When I told him that algebra was invented by a Muslim, he didn't want to believe it. Most of his earlier school years had been spent in the American public school system, where no mention was ever made about any Muslim doing anything scholarly. He had learned to assume that all academic disciplines were fathered by non-Muslims. I told him that algebra should remind him of Allah and remind him of his rich Islamic heritage. Then I researched and wrote the following historical study about algebra, which I use when I'm teaching secondary math or geopolitical science classes. The roots of algebra. The English word algebra came from the same Arabic root word as algebar, one of Allah's 99 beautiful names. Algebar means the compeller or the irresistible one. The word algebra came into English from the Arabic word algebra. Algebra means to integrate or force together, like mending broken bones. The term algebra originated from the title of a book written in the 8th century by a Muslim mathematician named Muhammad ibn Musa al khwarizmi The full title of his book was Al-Maqtula Al-Maqtala Fi Al-Hisab Al-Jabr Wal Luqabira and it means the calculation of integration and equation. The word al the word jabri means algebraic in modern Arabic. Divine ordinance or fate is inferred in the word algebari. Muhammad Ibn Musa al Khwarizmi was born about 17, 
I mean about seven seven in uh, Carissa, a town in Uzbekistan. Uzbekistan. His homeland has remained Islamic for more than ten centuries, even after being seized by Russia in 1873. When Al Khwarizmi was a young boy, his family migrated to a place near Baghdad. He became renowned in Baghdad between 1813 and eight, I mean 8, 813 and 833 during the time of the Khalifa al-Mamun al-Rashid. Before his death in 18 and 840, al khwarizmi became the founder of the science of algebra and many other branches and basic concepts of mathematics. He initiated algebra in a systematic form and developed it by giving analytical solutions of linear and quadratic equations. He also developed trigonometry tables, including the sine function, which later involved to tangent, tangent functions. He refined the geometric representation of conic sections and developed the calculus of two errors, which led him to the concept of differentiation. He adopted the use of the numeral zero and introduced the number zero nine to Europe. This led to the arithmetic of position, ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, etc., and the decimal system. He introduced the Arabic numerals and developed several arithmetical procedures, such as operations on fractions. He also introduced the mathematical concept of algorithm, which was named after him. His name is also the origin, origin of the term logarithm. He influenced mathematical thought to a greater degree than any other thinker of his time. He is one of the finest mathematicians, astronomers, and geographers who ever lived. In the field of geography, al Khwarizmi not only revised the Ptolemy's views on the subject, but also corrected them in detail. Under his leadership, 70 geographers worked and produced the first map of the known world in 830. He collaborated in the degree measurements of the volume and the circumference of the Earth. al Khwarizmi wrote a geography geography book that included maps entitled Kitab Surat al Arq. He contributed original works related to clocks, sundials, and astrologers. His books, Kitab al Tariq and Kitab al Rukma, were about sundials. Several of his books were translated into Latin in the 12th century. His book on arithmetic, Kitab al Jana, well, Tafrik Dil Hisab Al Hindi and his book on algebra, Al Makala, Fi Al Hisab Al Jabr, Well Al Bukabila, are known only from the Latin translation. The Latin translation of his Arabic book introduced the new science to Europe. Until then, algebra was unknown in Europe. His algebra book was the principal mathematical textbook of European universities until the 16th century.